All right, we're gonna start with a rectangle. My rectangle is about four and a half inches by four and a half inches. Your rectangle can be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, that's fine. Um, what this rect rectangle represents is the back wall of your hallway. So if it's smaller, that just makes your hallway longer. And if it's a little bit bigger, you don't want it much bigger than this, but if it is a little bit bigger, that will make the hallway a little bit shorter. So um, this would be the bottom corner of your wall. Same thing with that. And then this is the top corner of the wall. Um, and then this would be the ceiling. So this is how you're gonna create your hallway with your floor, ceiling, and two walls. Uh, you have to have your horizon line on there. So what I would recommend is use the thickness of the ruler on that rectangle. So you put it along the bottom and just put a straight line across here, okay? That is your horizon line. Now it's an imaginary line because you wouldn't actually see it um, if you're drawing a hall because that's a wall. Um, so we'll end up erasing that. Um, and then somewhere along this wall, you have to put your vanishing point. Um, I'd recommend putting it on one of the sides. It makes the hall look a little bit more interesting. Um, either this side or this side. Don't put it too close to the edge here. Um, and I wouldn't put it right smack dab in the middle. So somewhere in this area, I'm gonna put mine right there. All right. Or you could put it on the left-hand side, it's up to you. Then what you do, is from that vanishing point to the corner of your rectangle, right here, you're gonna draw a line out to the edge of the paper, okay? And this represents the bottom corner of your right-hand wall, okay? And then you repeat that from that vanishing point to the other corner, like so. And then that represents, this is the floor, Okay, so this is the bottom corner of your left-hand wall. And you repeat that for these top corners here. So from that vanishing point through this corner, okay. Now you have your right wall here. This is the right wall. And then vanishing point. Through that corner. And now you have the ceiling and this is the left wall and then this is the floor. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some ceiling tile on here uh, first. Uh, then we'll make some floor tile. To make the ceiling tile, so what I'm gonna do, so this was four inches wide, I believe. Yep, four inches wide. So I'm gonna make the ceiling tiles half inch each. So in order to make the ceiling tiles, all I have to do is just put a start at the zero mark here at that corner and just put a little tick mark at half, tick mark at one, tick mark at one and a half, tick mark at two, tick mark at two and a half, three and a half, three, three and a half, and then four is that corner, okay? So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ceiling tiles. So, and again, go from this vanishing point through that line, make sure the ruler's lined up. Now I don't have to do the line here because I'm just gonna end up erasing that anyways. So I can just start it at that point and I can go off to the edge of the paper. So do you see how it starts small and then ends a little bit bigger, like it's a, an illusion that it's getting farther away from you? Then go to this one. out to the edge, okay? Like that. And you just repeat that all the way. And the trick I, I've learned throughout the years, put your pencil here, so then when you rotate it, it doesn't move. And then you can go up, put your pencil down here, rotate it. 
and that just makes it go a little bit faster. Okay, so now I have my ceiling tile rows. Okay, um, but but I'm missing this cross piece. Okay, so this is how you do that. They're going to be closer together here. All right, so I'm going to do just one line there. Okay. And then I'm going to show you kind of a hint here. See if I can do this correctly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it at this corner and I'm going to put it at that corner and I'm going to make a line at an angle. All right. Now at every intersection here, I'm going to make a line. So maybe I should have done that at the first one, but I'm going to make a line. Then I'm going to make a line. So it touches that line. So that's an intersection. Touches that line. That's an intersection. Touches that line. That's an intersection. Touches that line. That's an intersection. Touches that line, intersects that line, and then there's the last line. So you can see, I'm going to erase that first line that I did. By going from that corner to that corner, it's kind of created the illusion that that tile's smaller, that one's a little bit bigger, that one's bigger, 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 biggest. Um, and then what you can do is just erase that diagonal line to get that ceiling tile looking correct. To do the floor, you do the exact same thing. It's just gonna be opposite. Um, if you want a floor uh, tile on the floor. Um, and so I'm not gonna do, to make this look a little bit different, um, so the ceiling tile, there's going to be, if you look at the, my ceiling, right, there's going to be like some smaller tiles. Um, the floor, I'm just going to divide into, what was it, four inches. So let's do one inch increments, make them a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do one inch, one inch, and one inch. So I'm only going to have three lines on the floor, but repeat the exact same thing. Vanishing point, tick mark, out, okay? Vanishing point, tick mark, out. Vanishing point, tick mark, out. All right, and then again, let's go from that corner to that corner. Okay. And then wherever it intersects that line, we're just gonna make a cross line to make the tile on the floor. All right. And there you have your basic hallway. Now, um, I would go in and erase that diagonal line. At this point, erase that diagonal line. And then you can go back in and kind of darken the lines, clean up any marks on here, maybe get rid of these little tick marks, go in with the ruler. I'll just do a couple lines so, I, so you can see what I mean by darkening them up. So come in here and darken that. So see how much I just, I just pushed down a little harder. Let me get rid of that floor there. And then make this one a little bit darker so you can see that, okay? And then what you can try is you can make a like a door. I'll put the door here so you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna put a door right here. Um, and a door, because it's straight up and down, I'm just going to start it at one of these lines, make it a little easier. 
And you can measure that distance, or if you're good at just kind of looking at it and saying, okay, that's that's the same, that's the same. Uh, if you trust yourself, you don't want to make it like that. It needs to be exactly straight up and down. So if you don't trust yourself, you can make a little line here and just measure that. Measure that distance. And here's a trick I like to do. So here I just I just started at 12. I can start it anywhere. I can have it at one if I want to, but it's at 12. So that wall is at 12. And then I look over and it's 13 and three quarters. So that's one and three quarter. And I just put a little mark on my ruler so I can see it on there. And then I just go up here, make sure it's at 12 and I can make see that mark. And then I can just go right there. Okay. So that I know is gonna be pretty close to straight up and down. Okay. So that's gonna be one part of my doorway. Okay. Um, now my door wouldn't go all the way to the ceiling, but I just made this line all the way to the ceiling. So you can choose any spot along here. So I'm gonna make my door this tall. Okay. Now I can erase this. And that you're going to line up to the vanishing point like that. And I'm going to just make the top of my door. Now, I don't want to go all the way to the edge. You can, but you're going to just end up erasing that anyways. So I'm just going to make the door about that big. Okay. And now I just make another vertical line straight down. And again, you can just kind of look at that space. Again, if you're good at kind of figuring out, okay, that space is the same as that space, you can do that just eyeball it, or you can measure it like I did before. Um, and there you have the doorway, okay? Now, if you wanted to make it look like there's a hall here, like you could actually walk down this doorway into this hall, all you need to do is right at the corner, that's a corner, you just do a horizontal straight line like that, okay? Now that becomes a ceiling, that becomes a wall, but you have to repeat that down here at the bottom too. So I'm just gonna extend that line to there. So again, now it looks like that's a floor, that's a wall, that's a ceiling. And you can shade it in and kind of make it look a little darker if you wanted to. So that, that's like a little hallway that's going back out here. If you want to add um, windows down here, you can do that. That's pretty easy. Um, at one school that I worked at, we actually had like a line here, or, like, and then the window was here and like this was a wall. Um, so that kind of was easy to help students with that perspective. But let's say you want to just kind of make a window frame, you can just make a line here. So that would be the end of the window frame. You can do a top here. Like if this was an end of a hall or something and you had a window here, you could make a small window. Like so. So you can have like a little window there. And then you can make multiple windows if you wanted to or anything like that. That's up to you what you want to do at the end of the hallway. You could just make that all bricks if you wanted to. Um, now, on this side, I'm gonna make some lockers. So um, lockers would come, if this is on the wall, lockers would be kind of sticking off the wall. Kind of if you think about the lockers, what the lockers look like outside our hallway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start them on this line, kind of the same line that I did this door. Um, again, straight up and down, just like you did here. I'm just gonna eyeball this space that's pretty close. And I'm just gonna make a little line. I'm not gonna go all the way to the top because we, remember we erased that and lockers aren't gonna be that high anyways. They're gonna be pretty low, okay? So that's gonna be my first set of lockers, all right? Now, lockers are gonna come out of the wall, okay? So I'm gonna use this line to figure out how far they're gonna come off the wall. So I'm gonna make the lockers about this thick, okay? And that's the top, okay? 
So now this is the outside of the locker. So eventually you're not gonna see this inside line. So you are gonna erase this. Now, do you see how it kind of comes off the wall a little bit? Now that's gonna be the new bottom of the floor that you see. You will no longer see this corner. So I'm gonna go here. Vanishing point to that corner. There's the bottom of the lockers, okay? Vanishing point to that corner. That's gonna be the top of the lockers, okay? And I'm going to erase that little bit. All right, so that's that. And then erase the floor because you don't want to see that anymore because that's behind the lockers. All right, now, do you see how because of this line is above the horizon, above that vanishing point, you don't see the top of the lockers, okay? Um, you only see this line. If you wanted to see the top of the locker, you'd have to make this line down here, which then you'd be able to see the top of the lockers, but that's fine. We don't need to see the top of the lockers, okay? Now, to do that um, same kind of line that we did here to make sure that these spaces are correct, again, you wanna do a diagonal line from here to that corner. All right, now continuing with these lockers. So I just added vertical lines here. And just kind of, I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger as I get farther on the t to the edge of the paper to make the lockers. So I'm making them a little bit thicker. There's a way to kind of make it look exact like that, but um, this is just easier. When you get a little older, I'll show you guys how to make it a little bit more exact. Put it right here. And then I'll just do one more. So now it looks like this is a locker, that's a locker, boom, 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 and they get really small down back there, okay? Now you can get more detailed, you can add the vents to the lockers. Um, I'm What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add like, when I was younger, we had like this top part of the locker that would open separately. So I'm just gonna put a dash here where that top part of the locker would be. And I'm gonna extend that out. So like there's the top of the lockers. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of put where the, and I'll put it on here. So that's where the, this is where the lock is gonna go. So the top and the bottom of the lock, like it's gonna be that big. I'll show you how to, you can make a line for the top and the bottom of the locks. So that's gonna be the bottom of all the locks. And then that's gonna be the top of all the locks, get on the vanishing point. So now I can go in and kinda, of, I can add a lock to that one. I can add a lock to this one. I can add a lock to this one. Lock to that one, lock, 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 lock. And a lock. And then I can go in and erase this line in between. And then all these locks are gonna look correct as far as one point linear perspective goes. Then you can add bricks to the walls. So I'm gonna add some bricks here. So again, there's many different ways of doing this. To make it even, you can kind of divide it up. Um, 
I'm just gonna do quarter inch blocks now here. So quarter, because again, I wanna make it look a little bit different than the ceiling tile. So I'm gonna make these quarter inches. So I'm gonna put a tick mark at every quarter of an inch on here. There you go. So now I have a lot of bricks here. So to draw those, again, line up the vanishing point. Grab a different pencil here. Line up the vanishing point to that tick mark and then draw a line out to the edge of the table or the paper. Okay, see how, they, see how I did that? And then you can just keep doing that. Again, tip and kind of do this, rotate. Yeah, it's not quite there. There we go. You can rotate. 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 Oops. Now I'm at the lockers, so all I have to do is draw this little line there and stop, because I don't want to draw over the lockers. Draw that little line, stop. Draw this little line, stop. Stop at the locker. Stop at the locker, and then one more line. All right, so now I have that wall kind of like that, okay? Now you'd wanna erase all these little tick marks eventually, and then I would repeat that on that side to get bricks. Again, I would probably do the bricks exactly the same because you have a brick wall and a brick wall. You kinda want those to be the same. So these are quarter inch marks. I would do the quarter inch marks over here as well. Um, the only difference is when you, on, when you get to this one, you'd stop at the door and then start on the other side of the door, okay? So I'll just do, I'll do one on the door here so you can see what I mean. So again, quarter inch, so I line this up. I just do a little tick mark at every quarter of an inch. Okay, I got that little tick mark. So I'll do one where the door is. So again, line up the vanishing point to that little tick mark, okay? So what I would do is I would go to the door, okay, I'd stop it at that line, skip over the door, and then extend it all the way to the edge of the, edge of the paper. If I didn't get to the edge of the paper on that one. All right, now I'm to the edge of the paper, okay? Now, on the door, this would just be a horizontal line. So you just kind of go in there, make sure it's straight, and this is how I make sure it's horizontal. I use the horizon line because we know that that's horizontal. I look at this space. Okay, I know now it's horizontal. I'm at that tick mark, and I just make a straight line across. So you see how I did that? I'll do one more so you guys can see that. Okay, vanishing point, tick mark. I go to the door. Oh, I didn't do it to the I just jump edge of the paper again. Okay. I do it to the door, skip over the door to the edge of the paper. Okay. And then horizontal. Now I can't see that line anymore. So what I can do is I can go up here. This is where uh, if I have my, I, I have some rulers that are transparent. Those help. Um, so now I'm just kind of looking at this space and it's about the right, so, and I can go there, horizontal. Or you can look here and use this space, making sure it's correct. So you see how that's, this is, goes out, then that's horizontal, then that goes out again. 
okay? And you do that for all the lines, and that will give the illusion that this, this wall is coming towards you, and then that is a hallway going through there. Okay, then you can add any details you want. Uh, you can add more bricks, like vertical bricks if you want to. You can add more details to here. You could add lights up here. Um, you could put a bench right here. Uh, you could put some more windows. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can kind of add, but this is kind of the minimum uh, one point linear perspective hallway.